Esophageal manometry is a diagnostic test used for measuring pressures and the coordination of muscles within the esophagus. The esophagus is a long, muscular tube that connects your throat to your stomach. During this test, a thin, flexible catheter is passed through your nose, down your esophagus, and into your stomach. Your doctor may have ordered this test for the assessment of your esophagus prior to an anti-reflux surgery or if you're experiencing symptoms that may be related to an esophageal disorder. If you are considering an anti-reflux surgery, this test is important for the surgeon to determine which surgical procedure would be most appropriate. Do not eat or drink for four hours before the procedure. Certain medications can affect the results of this test and your doctor may request these be stopped prior to the study. A topical lidocaine jelly will be applied in the nostril to numb the nasal passage and the back of your throat for easier insertion of the catheter. Please inform your nurse if you've had any nasal complications or surgeries in the past. When the probe reaches the back of your throat, the nurse will direct you to drop your chin to your chest. You will be asked to start sipping water from a straw to help pass the catheter through your esophagus into your stomach. It's important to remain calm during the procedure by taking slow, deep breaths. This test will not interfere with your breathing. Once the nurse has determined proper placement of your catheter, tape will be applied to your nose to secure the catheter in place. You will then lay flat for the duration of the test. The nurse will administer you saline water throughout the test, and you will be directed on when to swallow. You will be encouraged not to talk, cough, or swallow between each saline swallow. Once the desired number of adequate swallows has been obtained, the nurse will assist you in sitting in the upright position. At the end of the test, you may be asked to perform additional maneuvers, such as a series of rapid swallows, swallowing sitting upright, swallowing a larger volume of saline, or eating solid food. After the nurse has determined the study is complete, the catheter will be removed and you will be able to resume your regular diet. Plan to discuss the results with your doctor at your next appointment.